Hi everybody. Welcome back to Come Paint With Me. I'm Norma. Thank you for being here. Thank you for stopping in, taking a look at my videos. I appreciate it. Um, please subscribe if you feel like you will be coming back or you would like to see more from me. Set the bell to all and you will get notifications when I post a new video. I would really appreciate the um, subscribers too. So I'm not going to lie. I'm new and I would like to take it as far as I can go with this. So I'm just having fun. So that's mainly what it boils down to. Um, I'm going to do a diptych today. That's what they call it. It's two canvases and they are 10 by 20s. And I am going to um, do, I, I was trying to figure out whether I wanted to do it all gray or half gray and half white. And then I'm going to use black and red and gold. And I'm keeping it simple because this is for a room in my house that it's just my office. It's not a big deal if it doesn't look really good, but um, my walls are gray in that room and I have a red kind of balance curtain up. So I thought um, uh, red would black, white, gray would work. So uh, let me tell you what I did for my paints. I mixed the Parole Red and the Mars Black to get a little bit, this is the Parole Red, to get a little bit deeper color. And then I realized that I had on my board crimson red, which turned out to be exactly the same color. Um, but I didn't want to mix it together. So I thought I'll just use that up and then I'll put the crimson in there. And of course, my 24 karat gold from Deco Art and the Mars Black Artist Loft. And I just have for my flood paint, I have the Colorplace White Semi-Gloss with Floetrol and water. It's mixed in an old Floetrol bottle. And then I did, I increased it for the size of my bottle, but 70 milliliters of white, 10 of gray. So then I just increased it. However, this is a uh, 710 milliliters. So, um, and I'm just, like I said, new at this. And so I, I didn't want to mix up a whole bunch and then have it be wrong. So I just went a little bit at a time. I doubled it and then I doubled it again and I kept checking it and it seems like it's worked out. It pretty much filled the bottle. So. I'm good to go on that. Let me put my scale away. And I am going to flood my canvas and then I will be back and get started on the painting. I'm not even going to put this on camera. Everybody knows what, what you do. If you don't, I've got videos that do show me flooding the canvases. Uh, my first video is uh, pretty much an instructional video, so you can try that um, if you need uh, paint formulas and things like that. So I'll be right back and this will be done. Just these cameras, I'll tell you, if I don't look up often enough, I see that I've missed part of the video or it hasn't started or so here's what I did. Uh, I don't know where I stopped. I'll find that out when I edit. Um, gray and white with black, red, and gold down the center. I think I've already messed it up with this, but only time will tell. Um, I am going to just keep going. and see what happens. I don't know what in the world I, why I thought of doing this. No, I don't have any clue. I just said, 
okay, I know what I want to do. And how do you, how do you ever learn if you just don't go at it and try it? Come on. So maybe a little more red. I don't know how. I'm very nervous at this point, but I can always scrape it, I guess. Here goes. I wish y'all could talk to me and tell me. Do this, do that. But you can if you put it in the comments below. So again, I'll ask you to please subscribe so that um, I can get my channel off and running. Hmm. And uh, hopefully you set the set the bell to all and you'll get notifications of when I put out a new video. Hopefully you'll like it. Um, maybe you'll see my torture and help me. <laughs> so in the comment section below is where you can comment and tell me whatever you need to do. There's the thumbs up is a like and over here subscribe, bell, whatever. And here's the new I don't think you can see the word flower on it. Oh, crikeys. I have been such an idiot lately. I don't know what's going on with me, but I just turned on the lights. How about that? Okay, so here's flower. Pretty, it's a narrow, but not real narrow. So I'm gonna turn on low first. And since I have, I'm going to go down, then I'm going to go up, then I'm going to go down, and maybe up, well I think this is, I got this up too high, but we'll see. Why don't I see the gold? Did I uh, not do that right? I don't know. But I do want the gold in there and this is beautiful. Okay, a little red. Am I just out of my mind or what? Okay, I'm gonna turn Flo off. She seems to work pretty good. And then I think I'm going to use my straw to see if there's anything I want to fix. I have a lot of negative space down here, but there isn't really thing, anything I can do about it. Oh, gee, this is turning out so beautiful now. Look at that with all those cells in there and this. Oh, man. Wow. Unbelievable. Hmm. Be 
it sure is pretty. That is gorgeous. Well, it's actually my first successful blowout. At least I think I'll call it that. Um, semi-successful, maybe. Let me get the torch and torch it again. Yep, lots of bubbles. I wonder if I, am I going to ruin it? If I put, just put something down here so I can blow it up. Whoa! Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm going to do low and just try and give it a little design here. Yeah, that's okay. This is a metal straw that my neighbor gave me, my wonderful neighbor. And uh, I think that'll, I think that'll do it. I, I don't particularly like that added in there but um, I really felt like it was just too much negative space down here it looks it looks very green in here from the gold and the black but I think it'll work nicely in my office I, I see how this is very light I don't know how you keep your colors so vivid but I'm going to learn sooner or later, that's for sure. Well, I hope you like it. If you do, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, tell me too, because I really want to know uh, if like, that's too much, or maybe you might say I don't, I should have left this alone because it looks like it's a different color than the rest of it, but it's not. Who is that? Oh, don't you dare get up here. That's a cat. I have done what I can. I've done what I came to do and I have learned from this session for sure and I hope maybe somebody out there has learned as well and until next time I hope you'll come back and paint with me and give me that approval that thumbs up approval and subscribers so I can get this channel off the ground. I just want to have some fun. Okay. Hey, I want everybody to have a great holiday. I'm not sure if I will be posting in between the holidays or not. Uh, but I know I'll get this one out before Christmas. 
and uh, oh I was all Christmas themed too do you see that yep and then of course my pads all cover it so I don't know why I did it but I was trying to be festive so um, everybody have a great holiday and please stay safe and stay healthy uh, wear your mask wash your hands whatever vaccines are coming soon and then I can start having real physical bodies in here to come paint with me. Thanks again. Bye. Okay, so I had to run out and pick up a grocery order. And when I came back, it this was all falling off the canvas. Now, I can't exactly remember where it was, but I'm sure it was down a little further. So I put a stick under that end to bring it up. Um, I don't know if that'll work or not, but so I thought I'd just go ahead and show you. Look at that shimmer and that gold. I just love it. And I love how that like little lacing stuff. I, I love that. And that's really pretty. It's just that my colors just, they're not very vivid. They kind of wash out here. And I don't know why that is. I think this is stretching down too. Yeah, look at this. I don't have the defined lines anymore. Oh well. Probably too much paint. Live and learn. That's what I'm here for. Learning and teaching. I'll show you the dry result when it's dry, which may be three or four days. And I wanted to post this before Christmas. So it might be a post of after Christmas of the final drying. But we'll see. It's okay. It, I learned something. That's the important thing. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to come back and paint with me. Give me a like. Subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Happy holidays, everybody. Well, I have a confession to make. After all the time I spent on those, those paintings, I just watched it fall off the canvas, wash away to nothing. So this is what I ended up with. Yep. A scrape canvas two of them i know it's happened to others but it's really frustrating now i i was doing real well and then all of a sudden i can't accomplish anything it's got to be my paint mixtures and i've been watching everybody's paint mixtures and i just can't get it i, I just don't know what i'm doing wrong so i scraped them and i'm glad that that you watched and, and you stopped in to see um, another fail, but lessons learned. So I am going to attempt it again in my next video, which I am actually going to work on right now. So thanks for stopping in again. Um, I'll see you next time when you come back to paint with me. Thanks. Bye. Happy holidays.